Where does food come from? Have you ever wondered where does the food you purchase to eat come from? Here are a list of food. We will research to find out if you know where the food comes from. Chocolate, avocado, grapes, red peppers, potatoes, peanuts, rice, tea, coconuts, banana, honey, and cranberries. Do you want to know where food originated from? Now, if you're like me when I was a little kid, I thought everything came out of the grocery store. But each and every food item originates from somewhere. Sometimes it's even from a different country. Let's find out where some of our food originate from. This just might surprise you if you did not know. Or take the time out and find out exactly where does some of the food that you like to eat originate from. You just may be surprised. Let's see if you're surprised where some of these foods originally come from. Coconuts, it is originally from Southeast East Asia. Chocolate, it is from a cocoa bean, which is a native of Mexico. Rice comes from China. Honey comes from Brazil, but it's also, it comes from the hard work of the bees. Avocado, it is originally from Mexico. Cranberries, it is a fruit that grows in the North America, like Wisconsin. Tea. It originated from East Asia and grapes are from the Mediterranean region like Central European or Southwestern Asia. These are just a small amount of items and different types of food that comes from other countries or it might be somewhere close in your area. But all of these things, some of these things can be grown in a garden, but this is just where they are originated from. Let's see if you can look up some stuff while you're at home and find out where things might be originated from. Go ahead, start looking. Served as delicious, calorie-rich foods that could be easily collected and eaten without any preparation. It's even been suggested that the ability to distinguish between red and green Green was evolutionarily selected for so that we could find fruits and tell if they were ripe or not. Of course, today, finding any fruit you want is as easy as going to the grocery store and finding the right aisle. Many of us might not even realize the fruits we eat might not come from the same country we live in or even the same continent. In fact, many of our favorite fruits originated in entirely different landscapes and climates and today are grown thousands of miles away from our grocery stores. So let's take a look at the geography of our fruits. Starting us off, we have apples, which hail from the central Asia region, around where the three countries of China, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan meet. Its wild ancestor, Malus Siaversii, is still found throughout this region, and China remains the number one world producer, accounting for 48% of the global apple production. The earliest records of apricots reach back to ancient Armenia. Its scientific name is literally Prunus Armeniaca. Whether it originated here is disputed, with some suggesting India and China, but its theoretical range includes all of these places, and today, Uzbekistan is the top producer. Avocados, sometimes called alligator pears, originated in south-central Mexico, specifically in Tehuacan Valley. Evidence shows locals have been eating the ancestors of avocados for up to 10,000 years, and to this day, Mexico remains the number one producer in the world. Bananas and plantains, which are technically berries, got their beginnings in Indomalaya. The earliest record of their domestication likely comes from New Guinea from up to 10,000 years ago as well. Despite this, India holds the title as a top producer, with China close behind. The 
genus blueberries belong to, Vaccinium, occur all around the North Pole, but the ones we eat today come from North America, mostly the north and eastern parts of the United States and South Central Canada. So it's no surprise that the United States leads global blueberry production, with Canada coming in second. Okay, so cantaloupes are named after the town Cantalupo de Sabina in Italy, where cantaloupes definitely did not originate from, but cantaloupe literally translates to howling wolf, and I just think that's cool. As for where they came from, no one really seems to know. Some say Persia, some say Afghanistan, and others say Armenia. Roughly this area is agreed upon though, but today it's China that produces 51% of all cantaloupes. Cherries on the other hand are native to Italy, and all of Central Europe for that matter. Funnily enough, the name cherry comes from outside of Europe, from the Norman cherries, from the Latin cherisum, and from the ancient Greek region cherisus.